What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Scratch with David McGill. So if you don't mind, if we can walk through um, what is a DOT inspection and go into detail on what different types of DOT inspections there are out there that we need to be aware of. The level of specter, you know, what you expect from inspections, uh, if you are so chosen by an officer to be inspected, whether it's on the roadside or whether it's at a way station, just be aware that there may be different types of inspections. Right now, uh, I'm going to go through the three levels of inspection that most roadside inspections or way stations will perform. Um, but just before we go into that, let me give you some general ideas of what to expect when you get stopped. If you're on the roadside, the trooper or the motor carrier person that's stopping you is going to approach your vehicle from the right side. They try not to walk in traffic, so they'll come up on the right side. Don't start off on the wrong foot with them. Uh, things will go a lot smoother if you're polite. They've got a job to do, and unfortunately, they have you captured. So you're just going to have to go pay attention to what they ask for and do what they say. If there's problems, we can always deal with those problems later. Roadside inspection is not the place to have a confrontation. Officer's going to ask you for your license, uh, your truck and trailer registration. He may want to see your annual inspection. So as a driver, know where that stuff is. Uh, obviously, your CDL license or just, just regular license is going to be in your wallet. And you may have a DOT medical certificate. If you're a CDL driver, you may not need it because it may show up on your MVR, your motor vehicle record. And the officer is going to run your license to check to see if you're still a valid driver and to see if you've got a good DOT uh, medical certificate. He's going to ask you uh, questions about your logs. If you're required to log, you need to have the answers that he's going to be asking. Are you required to log? Are you running a 150 air mile radius? And we'll talk a little bit about those exemptions in a little bit. But you as the driver need to know what those questions are going to be coming to you and you need to know how to answer them because it makes a difference on how the officer treats you and what he's looking for when he's preparing to do a DOT inspection. He'll look for your IFTA sticker on your truck if you're under IFTA to make sure that you are uh, licensed and have a, a certificate to where you can pay your IFTA uh, fees to the states. He's going to ask for your shipping paper. Uh, most everybody who operates will have a shipping paper unless obviously you have no load at that time. So he's going to look at the shipping paper. If you have a shipping paper and it may indicate hazardous materials, then things are going to change as far as are you placarded? Do you need to have a hazardous material endorsement on your driver's license? There are all kinds of things that the officer is going to be looking for during an inspection. Make sure your DOT license or your medical certificate, make sure you do what it says. If you're required to wear glasses, have your glasses on. If you're required to have hearing aids, have your hearing aids in your ear and working. That's one of the things that drivers, and especially at the way stations, can see as the drivers come in the way stations, so they'll sit there with binoculars and look down the ramps to see if you have your glasses on. When you pull up and then you have them on, they'll check your license and your medical certificate. Either one may require you to have glasses. If you don't have glasses, they're probably going to write you a ticket and put you out of service, even if you have them on now because you were out on the road without those. So those are the things to be prepared for when you get stopped. What I've talked about now is the information that he would use to do a level three inspection, which is a North American standard. And it's just pretty much a credential check, looking at your license, looking at your registrations, making sure you have a DOT inspection, a valid one for your truck and trailer, or if it's a straight truck, just that you have an inspection for your straight truck, if it's required. Uh, if you go to a level two inspection, he's going to look at everything that I've talked about, but he'll also do a walk around inspection. He's going to check your lights. He's going to check your tires. He's going to go to the rear and check your lights again. 
He'll be looking at the frame to see if he sees any frame cracks. He'll walk all the way around the vehicle checking things to make sure that you have no defects that would cause you to have a violation for his report. Then if you are at his way station or if the trooper's in his BDUs, so to speak, and he's out to look for a level one inspection, then we do everything that I've talked about so far, but now he'll take you and he will actually probably chalk your vehicle and give you instructions. He'll do everything we talked about, but now he's going to crawl underneath the vehicle. He'll be checking the steering systems. He'll be checking the fuel systems, make sure there's no leaks. He'll be looking for any kind of leak he can see. He'll be checking the springs. He'll be looking at the inside of the frames, making sure that there's nothing broken on the inside. He'll be checking the suspension systems all the way back for your truck and for your trailer. And then once he gets done, he will give you an inspection report, depending on what level, it may be one, two, or three. And then he will go over that. He will give you the information as far as how many violations he's discovered and what you're going to have to do to fix those. The misconception a lot of times for a driver is that the violations that he gets on an inspection report don't affect him, do not affect him but they do. They also affect a carrier. Many times an officer will say, well, I'm not going to write you a ticket or warning so it won't affect the driver. Well, it does because those violations that are discovered will affect the driver's PSP report, that uh, which is a pre-employment screening report. That new carriers, if you want to be hired by another carrier, can run through the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration and see what your previous activity has been as far as inspections and accidents. So just be aware that all violations that are listed on a inspection report do affect the carrier's safety management system scores, and it also affects the driver on the PSP report. For more information, check out the description box below. If you found this video helpful, then leave a comment and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your people. And until next time, mind your trucking business.